Hello everyone! In today's tutorial, we'll walk through a cool workflow I created in ComfyUI for generating animations like the one you see here. This workflow integrates stable diffusion IP adapter, group face swap, and animated diff. It's a speedy and straightforward method for creating video animation scenes, especially when paired with ChatGPT. I'm going to demonstrate how to use this quickly. Eliminating the need to invest time in text prompts. Stick to the end of this video, you will like it. Now there are two workflows in Comfy UI that we'll be using. The first is a basic text to image workflow available by default in Comfy UI. In this example, I'll be using the SDXL model, specifically the Dream Shaper XL. Why SDXL for text to image? Because SDXL can generate images based on sentences, unlike Stable Diffusion 1.5 which necessitates specific technical prompts. I'll continue using the settings for lighting, image quality, and high resolution details, which are included at the end of the text prompt. These settings also apply to the negative prompt, acting as a template for every scene I generate. I only need to modify the first two lines of the text prompt to instruct the AI on what we need in the image. This part can be copied and pasted from our ChatGPT results, creating a streamlined workflow for building animation story scenes. The second workflow is one that I've designed incorporating IP adapter, group face swap, and animated diff. I've discussed these Comfy UI custom nodes in previous videos. You can find setup instructions in the video description. The beauty of this workflow is that it's based on the generated images from Workflow 1. You load these images into EP Adapter, saving time that would otherwise be spent creating detailed text prompts for each animation scene. So, let's switch to my ChatGPT screen. Here, I'm asking ChatGPT to write a short story, including scenes and narrator speech. I'll begin by requesting an outline for the story and then focus on each act asking ChatGPT to create each scene and the voiceover script. Because currently, ChatGPT doesn't handle stable diffusion 1.5 style text prompts effectively. So, I'm only asking ChatGPT to write scene descriptions. Then I use SDXL to generate images, as SDXL comprehends text prompts in sentence form. After generating all the chapters, I copy and paste them into a Word file and start working on animations in Stable Diffusion Comfy UI. As I demonstrated at the beginning of this video, there are two workflows in Comfy UI. I switch between them to process each animation scene. During this process, you'll mostly be copying and pasting text from the Word file into Workflow 1, which is the basic text to image workflow using the SDXL model. You can adjust settings like width, height, and other sampler settings. The exciting part comes in Workflow 2. First, we load the generated images from Workflow 1. Then, they move on to the animated diff nodes. After initializing the animation settings with the IP adapter image prompt, the process proceeds to the sampler node, which begins processing the images. Now, you'll notice that I haven't used any descriptive language in the prompt and negative prompt. I simply copy and paste image quality setting keywords from the text to image workflow. I rely heavily on the IP adapter to create animations based on the loaded image. The final step involves using the root face swap custom node for each image frame. Then the workflow moves to the last step, which combines all the image frames into an animation using the video combined node. I'll share these workflow JSON files in the video description. You can find them on my website where you can download them and experiment with the process. Now let's try creating an animation. I've created some scenes using text to image and saved them in a folder. We can now drag and drop an image into the IP adapters load image node. For example, let's use this one. Here, you can choose IP adapter models specifically for faces or a general IP adapter for images. In the Animate Diff Nodes group, you can customize your motion by selecting a Motion LoRa model.
The green box is for the text prompt and the red box is for the negative prompt. Once again, I copy and paste the same image quality setting keywords from the text to image workflow as you can see here. Now we click generate and wait for the animation. This workflow might take some time for each animation considering its combination of multiple features. The time it takes depends on your hardware configuration. Typically, it takes a few minutes for me for each scene. During this time, you can switch back to workflow 1 and prepare for another story scene. Keep in mind that when generating text to image, you'll still need to queue up in line. For example, in this instance, I'm working on a mermaid short story. I check the ChatGPT script to see if it's suitable for SDXL to generate images. If the sentence is too complex for stable diffusion, I may need to modify it for SDXL to understand. After generating some images, let's explore more IPA adapter to animation workflows. So, here's the mermaid image I just generated. I'll drag and drop it into the load image node and check the IPA adapter setting. Just want to show you one more time the text prompt in this workflow. I have not using any descriptive keywords for the scenes. It's uh, all setting for image quality like a template here. So check everything looks good and we can click generate. I also have not connect root face swap for this batch of image because it load faster and I don't need the AI girl face for my storyline. It's worth noting that the animated diff can use multiple motions. In my case, I'm using tit up and then zoom out. Compare this to Pika Lab's recent update, which only allows one motion at a time. Stable Diffusion can do more than that. Here, you can adjust the animation width and height settings, with the batch size determining the number of frames in the animation. A higher number equates to a longer time to generate. So, there you have it, my generating process in here to be keep going. It's pretty cool. That Comfy UI can do multiple generative AI tasks in one workflow. It cut off many time compared to other YouTube videos said using ABC to generate image and then log in to XYZ to generate animation with those images. Oh, by the way, the automatic 11 on 11 can also do IP adapter with root face swap and animate diff. I will upload another video using automatic 11 on 11 on upcoming video. So stay tuned for that. And that is it for today's tutorial. Download the workflow files, give it a try. I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.